guys, I wanted to make a quick little video to sort of give you some context and framework for how to watch this series. If you're watching this at the time that I'm releasing it, early 2019, uh, maybe a month into this adventure or literally on day one. If you're watching it right away, I want to give you some framework for how to approach it so that you can get more out of the series itself. If this series already exists, you're watching this six months or a year or three years into the future and there's already this mountain of content each day and you know that there's value in every single episode through the entire run of the thing. Um, the you may watch this video again to sort of get some framework on how it's intended to be watched so that you can, if you binge watch stuff in the future, <laughs> the, the human brain cannot fully absorb and integrate and, and, and um, make a part of your skill set information that you've binged. Have you ever binge watched a TV show and then a year later the next season comes out on Netflix or something and you go what was that show about? Like you don't retain that stuff. In the moment, it's great, you enjoy it, but you don't retain it. To build your skills, to build your creative thinking skills, to build your story building skills, to build your screenwriting skills, your wordsmithing skills, your industry marketing skills, all that kind of stuff. To build that stuff, you need to do it gradually, consistently, with consistent ongoing daily action. So the point of this series is to give you a daily prompt. So each day I'm going to I'm going to do basically what I'm doing right now. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to give you ideas, insights, perspective. I'll give you some techniques along the way. I'll answer questions if you have them specifically about your project, about screenwriting in general, about the industry, about my uh, my new perspective on the whole thing. All that stuff. Whatever you want from this series, pop it in the comments. I will go there, okay? And then the idea is that you watch the new episodes each day. Come here, whether you come at 9 a.m. New York time uh, or you see the little notification on your YouTube that you've got, we've got a new video from me, you go and watch it right before you have that block of time to do some writing. Watch the episode, process it, think about what I've presented you. Don't just watch and go, oh, okay, cool, uh, what's next? Don't watch the next video. <laughs> take that prompt to then take action, even if it's just for 10 minutes. If you can work for 10 hours a day, if, you're, if you've got the time to spend 10 hours each day on it, work for 10 hours a day, that's great. If you only have 10 minutes a day, and we all have, we can, we can, if it's important to us, we can find or carve out 10 minutes each day. If you take action for just 10 minutes each day, you are that much closer to the goal that you claim to have. I don't know if you've watched the other videos on this channel, but I have a video called uh, Why You Must Write Today. There's a reason for it. There's a scientific reason for it. I'll link the video wherever videos are linked and you can go watch that after this video. It's your one exception. <laughs> um, and then we'll go into a lot of the stuff further. I'll elaborate further about a, a lot of this. And, I, and I, I'm also next week going to explain why I haven't elaborated further up to this point. Um, I, I firmly believe that life and creativity uh, are, are win-win situations. I, I don't believe that this is a zero-sum game. I don't believe that there's a limited pie. If you make a movie and I make a movie, the audience can watch both of them. The reason I believe in the win-win situation and that it's not a zero-sum game is because you are a creative person. If you create something from your own imagination, you give it to the world or sell it to the world, whatever. If you pr put it out there into the world, you have added to the pie. You haven't taken away from someone else because we can eat the other pieces of pie as well, okay? That's kind of a lame analogy, but but it's true. And so I believe in win-win situations. So everything I do is about creating value for you so that what I'm trying to build I can build what I'm trying to build by giving you help getting to where you're trying to go. That's that's my MO. That's what I've always been about. And one of the things that I've done poorly in the past is I've attached giving you something with call to action. There's a video on this channel called, uh, I think it's called How to Write a Movie, How to Turn an Idea into a Movie Step by Step. 
in that I explain the sort of seven steps, the seven phases of the creative process. And then at the end of it, I say, hey, if you want more, if you want to take this further, join me in Fast Screenplay. The problem is by giving you that call to action at the end, by, what it does is it creates in your mind the idea that I've given you just enough to reel you in so that I could get your money. So you, none of these videos in this series uh, and maybe no other video that I ever put out on YouTube or Facebook or wherever this is going to end up. Um, no, other, I'm not going to do call to actions anymore. I'm not, I'm not going to because I want you to watch and consider what I'm presenting in each episode uh, on its own merits. If, if you want, if you look at that, how to turn a movie into, how to turn a movie into a whatever it is, step by step. If you if you look at the comments on that, you look at some of the likes and dislikes and whatever, uh, one of the problems is that people just turn off. They, they won't absorb the fact that those seven steps that I have identified, I, it took me 10 years, five to 10 years to figure out that, to figure out that that's what's missing in the screenwriting world. So, I'm not going to make that mistake anymore. I'm going to try not to make that mistake anymore. So in this series, I'm I'm going to end up talking about Fast Screenplay a lot. But please understand, I'm not doing that to try to get you to join Fast Screenplay. I'm not doing that as a call to action. I'm not doing that because I think you need to. I don't think you need to. You can watch this video series for free and I will give you everything in my head over the next probably going to take me five to ten years to give you everything in my head. I don't know exactly. That's just imagination. There's a lot of stuff there that I want to give you. There's a lot of stuff that I want to teach you. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of perspective that I want to share with you. Um, I'm going to do all that for free. You don't have to join me in Fast Screenplay. Obviously, you know, I spent ten years building it. Obviously, I, I would love it if you did join Fast Screenplay. I, I'm... I, I firmly 100% believe every writer on the planet could benefit from doing fast screenplay. But what's going to be more important to me is that you understand why I built it, how I built it, and what it means for your creativity, the creative process. If you understand why I built it, how I built it, what it does, what it does that's different to anything else that, that's out there. Um, if you understand that and still don't join, that's okay. But you need to understand that to understand the creative process as I'm presenting it to you. So for full context, I'm going to have to talk about Fast Screenplay. It's, it's, it's what I spent nearly 20 years working on. So it's, it's how I know what I know about the depths of creativity and storytelling and, and, and what all this means and how it works and how to get you to where you're trying to go. So... When you watch upcoming episodes, I'm not going to really, I, I don't really want to talk about this again, um, but I will. It'll probably come up from time to time or maybe a lot. I don't know. It depends on if people jump in in the middle and whatever. <laughs> the point is that when you hear me talking about Fast Screenplay, please don't just turn off from the idea that I'm trying to explain through talking about it, okay? I, I, I Honestly, if you don't join, that's totally okay. What I want to do with this series is to teach you how to do the thing that I'm about to do. To uh, You don't need to join me. Look, there's 7 billion people on the planet. Let's imagine every single one of them decided they want to make a movie, which I think would be a really good idea, by the way. Let's imagine every single one of them wanted to make an idea. I can't make 7 billion films. I can't make 7 million. I can't make 7,000 probably. Um, I do think I can make a lot, and we'll talk about that uh, when the series gets underway. But I can't make all of them. So what I'd rather do is put all the stuff out there so that you can go do it if that's what you're inclined to do. If you'd rather do it on your own than with me, absolutely fine. I believe... If you haven't watched my TED Talk, watch my TED Talk. That's the one little pitch that I'll make. It's free to. Um, I really believe that every single person on the planet has a unique window on our world. So I really believe that we all have stories inside us. Nobody else can tell. I believe it's important for you to share your creativity and to share what you're, what you're coming at this with. And so this series is not about trying to get you to pay me money. This series is about helping you connect with that so that you can move forward in whatever it is you're trying to achieve, 
Okay, so that's how to watch this. I know this is a little bit long and rambly. This is, if you don't like this, if you don't like what you've just watched, if, I'm, if I talk too much, <laughs> you're probably not going to like the first couple of months. The first couple of months of this series are, are, are going to start out just like this. Eventually, what I'm hoping is somebody will watch this show and they'll love what I'm doing. They'll love what I'm building. They'll want to volunteer to be a videographer and do some editing and actually turn this into more of a show, right? To turn this into go out into the world and it's not just going to be me in, in my home office, right? Um, to get to that point, we need to build. We need to start from somewhere. And so I want to just lay this all out and, and I'm, I want to cut out all artifice. Everything that I've done so far has been really, I have wanted to impress you. I have wanted to create videos that you, that I think you're going to watch and go, wow, that was cool animation in that video. Wow, that guy, that, that guy said something really inspiring and, and what have you. And it's, at the end of the day, I'm, I, I want to strip away my ego from this equation. I want to build what I want to build, which we'll talk about on Monday and over, over this coming week. I want to build something really unique, something really special, something that has not been built before. I have a couple of bigger picture goals, the master plan, which I'll write about, which I'll uh, talk about next week as well, uh, which are big things that I want to achieve. And I'm not going to get there if I'm so busy worried about how I look or worried about what you think of me or worried about what negative comments might come along. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to present it to you as real and as raw as I possibly can. I'm going to try to inspire you, try to give you new value and ideas and inspiration and information every single day. And then I'm going to need you to take action because that's the only way you're going to get where you're trying to go. You can watch me go where I'm trying to go. This is ground zero. This is, this is day zero. <laughs> this is day one starts on Monday. Uh, this is the beginning of it. I want to document this journey for you. Um, I would love for you to go along the ride as well. I would love for you to take action so that in the comments a year from now, you can share with me your extraordinary success stories. And that'll be a nice little counterpoint to, uh, to me sharing with you mine. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully it sounds interesting. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. If you have hate, go ahead and drop it in the comments. That's fine too. Um, but we're building something really cool and it all starts on Monday. So see you there.